Hi, do you want to learn how to make cinematic music like John Williams and your favorite Hollywood producers? Today we take this tiny small chord progression sounding like this. And make it sound like this. Right, so this is what our final arrangement will look like. But let's start from scratch. So we know the chords will be a G minor to an F to G minor and to a D7, which is uh, our dominant chord. So we have a clean beginning here. And let's start by fleshing out the chords on piano. So right click and create a MIDI region. I'm working in uh, Logic Pro here, but you can basically recreate this in any music application as long as you have uh, like a violin, cello, viola, choir and uh, a synth. So let's go into the piano roll here and uh, flesh out the chords. So we first have a G minor chord, which is the G, the B flat and uh, the D. That's our first chord. The next chord is an F, so we need to have an F and an A and uh, the C. And then back to uh, the G again. The G minor. And finally to the D7, which is uh, D, F sharp, and uh, an A, plus the C to make it the dominant. So these are the chords. But we need to do some nice voice leading because this doesn't sound very cinematic or very interesting. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe select uh, the middle notes here and move them one octave up. So we hold the Alt Shift and arrow up. And move the A here an octave down. Listen to how that sounds. Much better voice leading. Finally, we will double the bass one octave below to make them sounding more fat and nice. So we'll take the bass notes and uh, hold Alt uh, to copy them an octave below. You can see I have a quite low velocity here for all the notes here to make them sound more smooth and not as harsh. Okay, so now we have some interesting chords, but now we need to move these to some more interesting instruments to make it sound more cinematic. So we load up a cello patch. This is a stock patch from uh, that comes with Logic Pro. And it's the cellos and the sustains patch. So we hold Alt and drag this to the cello track. Well, the cellos sound a little bit boring, but we can easily fix that with a little bit of expressive dynamics. On many string patches you can use CC1 or the mod wheel to control the dynamics of, uh, of the instrument. Okay, so let's double the cellos with some choir to make it sound more epic. You always need choir when you're doing epic music. So let's select the cello region and hold Alt key and drag it down to another track where we have some choirs. And this is also a stock uh, mixed choir patch from the Logic Pro core library. And we can actually quickly rename these tracks by selecting all, Command A, and hold Alt Shift and press N. And now we rename this track to a choir. Now this specific choir patch is not responsive to CC1, the mod wheel, but uh, we can use uh, CC7 to control volume. And I have this knob attached to a CC7, so let's add a little bit of ride of uh, volume. Let's go back to the beginning, press R to record. Okay. 
Okay, so on top of the chords here, we need some sparkling arpeggio or melody. And we can actually just use the chord notes to build a nice uh, arpeggio melody. So right click and select create the MIDI region and extend the MIDI region. In Logic, we have this MIDI in feature, which we can use and we activate the MIDI in here. And now everything, everything that I play on the keyboard will be step sequenced into the sequencer, into the clip. But uh, we're going to make, the, make it a little bit more fancy than that. So let's just use the chord notes and the scale notes uh, to insert a melody. So we begin at G3. And then we have the F chord. And then we have the G minor chord again. And then finally we have the D7, the dominant chord. And let's hear how this melody sounds. So it's still a little bit boring. We need this to play faster. So there's a quick way to do that. We can select all the notes, zoom in a little bit and uh, just make them shorter. And then we can hold Alt and double this and move it just to the side of the other note. Then we go down here to the note velocity and adjust velocity slightly. So it's uh, a little bit uh, lighter than uh, the main notes. We also need to select all the notes here and uh, make them play as spiccato. It's a very short uh, type of note articulation. Nice! And on top of this we need to add a little bit of dynamic ride to make it sound like uh, more realistic and not uh, play at 100% uh, volume all the time. So let's go back here and uh, ride the volume knob a little bit. So now we can go down here and look at the MIDI volume and we can see the volume ride that I did there on on the volume knob. Okay, so now we have some notes on the top and we have the middle meat section with the cellos and uh, piano and choir. But we also need to fill out the low end so we get a large spread here to make it sound really cinematic. So let's just copy the cello clip here to our bass. Go into the bass clip and just remove all the top notes and hear how that sounds. So it's still a little bit high, so we need to move that an octave down because it's going to be in the really bass register. So hold shift and alt and arrow down to make it uh, low and fat. Let's adjust the modulation a little bit here. Let's quickly color the clips here, so we can hold the alt and press C to open up the color panel and uh, just uh, select different colors for the different clips. A really sweet cinematic Hollywood trick is to double the violins uh, and have a second violin an octave below, or have the violas play an octave below. So we can double the violins here Copy these to a viola patch. These are also from the Logic Stock Studio Violas. Go into the viola clip and select all notes and move them an octave down. So these two in combination will sound like this. It's a really sweet sound when you have them in uh, in octave like that. Right, so to finalize this and make it sound really cinematic and Hollywood, we need to add a synth layer, 
a sub bass at the bottom of this to really fill out the low end and make this uh, complete. So you can basically do this with uh, any kind of synth if you have serum or uh, any kind of stock synthesizer. In logic I'm using the ESM monophonic synth patch, but as I mentioned you can use any type of sine wave synth. And we copy the bass here to the sine wave track. Now that's a little bit too low, so let's go in here and move that an octave up. Much better. Let's see how effective the sine wave actually is in this arrangement. So you can definitely hear it's missing when I remove it, so let's hear the full uh, final arrangement. Now you can go ahead and extend this uh, forever and changing the melody and taking in and out different instruments. So that is how you simply create the cinematic sound from a very small chord progression. If you have any questions or just want to say hi, write that in the comments. Now you can also join my channel as a member if you click that join button below here. As a member you get access to exclusive perks like you get to see my videos one to two days before they are released to the public. And you get the loyalty badges, you gain access to special emojis which you can use in the live chat in the live streams. And you also get access to behind the scenes content. Right, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Matthias. See you in the next video. Bye.